ladies and gentlemen of the press that have gathered here this evening to listen to the space in response to the Secretary, United States of America, Secretary of State, visit to the Islamic State of Nigeria in the middle of conflict. Let me start by referencing the declaration of the 1776 July 4th of the United States of America. The unanimous declaration of the 13th United States of America, when in the course of a human event, it becomes necessary for one people to dissolve the political band, which have connected them with another, and to assume among the powers of the earth the separate and the equal station to which the laws of nature and of nature of God entitle them. A decent respect to the opinion of mankind requires that they should declare the, cause, the causes which impel them to the separation. We hold this truth to be self-evident that all men are created equal that they are endowed by their creator with certain unalienable rights that among these are life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. That to secure this right, governments are instituted among men, deriving their just powers from the consent of the government of the government that whenever any form of government become destructive of this end, it is the right of the people to alter or to abolish it and to institute new government. Laying its foundation on such principle and organizing its powers in such form as to them shall seem most likely to affect their safety and happiness. Prudence indeed will dictate that government long established should be changed for light and transient causes. And accordingly, all experience has shown that mankind are more disposed to suffer while evil are sufferable than to ride themselves by abolishing the form to which disposed to suffer. But when a long train abuses and usurpation, pursuing invariably the same objective, a visit a design to reduce them under absolute disposition, it is their right. It is their duty to throw of such government and to provide new guard for their future security. Such has been pertinent. The sovereigns of these colonies and such is now the necessity which constrained them to alter their former system of government. The history of the present king of Great Britain is a history of repeated injuries and usurpations, all having indirect and object the establishment of an absolute tyranny over the state. To prove this, let fact be submitted to a candid world. These were the word the wording of the United States of America Declaration of Independence on July 4th, 1776. The United States of America that gave Blinken the power, the impetus to fly to Nigeria and represent America today as an independent state. He went there. I was expecting them to ask questions concerning separatists they could not summon the courage. Because the heat has come 
earlier before this press briefing, I gained, listened very attentively, none of the question borders on the insecurity in Nigeria. None of the question borders on the so-called separatists in Nigeria. None of the question borders on those things, nonsense noise they are making on social media and in their media space. The question borders on two-state creation of uh, Palestine. It's a disgrace. So Biafra people, there is no cause for alarm. When confronted with the question of two-state in Gaza, of course, Blake showed the dubious character he displayed. Could not answer that question straight. However, we have no permanent enemy and we have no permanent friend. And we, the Biafra people of this current generation, does not change our policies according to whom we meet. We does not change our stand according to who talk to us. Our principle remain firm and stand. We doesn't change our principle. So, those who want us to be friends, we will be friends. Those who does not want us to be friends, we don't want to be friends with them. We have better people in America who understand the plight of Biafra people than the so-called Blinken and his group. They are leaving office very soon. I just want to respond to them that Blinken, if not for the Declaration of Independence State of America in 1776, there will be no Blinken today. If America did not take both steps, just like Simon Epa is taking the risk today, and many Biafra is taking the same risk today, there will be no Blinken. If America did not take this particular bull by its horn against Britain, there will be no America today. Do you even understand it? But today, these are the people who want to tell you the policy. They call it foreign policy. These are the people who turn around after they have fought for their own freedom, enjoying themselves from, 19, from 1776 till now, they are now telling you how to live, how to live your life. They tell you, no, you don't need to declare freedom. No, 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 let us go in peace. They did not go in peace. They fought Britain. The same Britain we are fighting today, the evil Britain did to America have not ended. Britain have not changed on Biafra. That same policy that inflicted on America is the same policy that have inflicted on Biafrans. And our own is worse. And America, not, Amer not all America, will feel corrupt individual in America who did not understand what freedom fighting is all about. Because Blinken doesn't know anything about freedom fighting. He was not part of those who fought for America. He was born in a platter of gold. He was born in a free world. He was born in a free America. He was, he was not part of it. So he doesn't know what it means to fight for freedom. However, I want to assure Biafra people today that our fight is against the Islamic State of Nigeria, against their military, against their police, against every forces under Nigeria carrying arms in Biafra land. And again, there was no question about separatists. There was no comment about Southeast, South-South. There was no comment about anything. Yeah.